Hello and welcome to my Epicure Cooking with Jennifer B where I get to show you how to make a healthy, delicious, affordable meal that's brought ready in under 20 minutes. Who wouldn't want that? Tonight we're making meatloaf in under 10 minutes. Can you believe that? So stay with me. I have a pound of ground beef. I have two tablespoons of water one egg, my Epicure meat, uh, meatloaf uh, meal solution with my recipe on the back and my dog going crazy. Sorry about that. <laughs> but you'll find on the back with the recipe, our bold words is your grocery list. It's so easy. Epicure makes it so easy. And then I'm going to be cooking it in our Epicure rectangle steamer, which is amazing. And I'm gonna be using this in the microwave and a total cook time of about seven minutes. Now, if you're weirded out about that, you can use your loaf pan or this and cook it in the oven. It just takes longer. Like how long do you cook a meatloaf? Like almost an hour, it's ridiculous. I can cook this in the microwave because it steams it, it seals in your nutrients and it seals in your moisture and it is perfect, seven minutes. Dinner's done. Ah, love it. Okay, let's get going. I'm gonna open up my meal solution here. Pour it in on top of my one pound of ground beef. I have one egg. And two tablespoons of water. And the recipe does not call for veggies. Me and my husband, we prefer, once you guys get to know me and you watch some more of my videos, you will know what do I put in everything. Onions and peppers. <laughs> we just love onions and peppers. It's a great addition to a lot of meals and a great way to get some extra veggies and things like that and have a balanced plate. And so um, I've got some onions and my peppers right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all in. It's kind of a lot, but it's okay and then I'm gonna mix this up and I don't know about you but I do not like to get my hands in there on all of that squishiness so I will put on my gloves if you don't need gloves good for you carry on <laughs> my hand just got a little bit wet from the veggies all right so I'm gonna mix this up really quick The meatloaf seasoning, there it is so flavor-filled packed. It has onions, tomato, cornstarch, garlic, herb, sea salt, smoked pep paprika, black pepper, uh, organic apple cider vinegar uh, powder, sorry, and some cayenne pepper. So um, it you definitely, even though the cayenne pepper is listed last. You definitely can take, taste the pepperiness of it. Um, so if you don't like the pepper to be too strong, you can always just use half the packet of the meatloaf seasoning. Okay, very versatile. All right, I have me here a perfect loaf of meat. I'm just going to set this inside of our steamer here and then squash this down. And I'm gonna add the other peppers and things like that right to the top because Epicure is about no waste. When you waste, you waste money. And I don't, I'm not about that, okay? All right, now all I'm gonna do is put the lid on here like so. And then I am gonna go steam this for uh, or microwave it for four minutes. Yes, it's in a steamer, so it is going to steam. And I'm gonna cook it for four minutes, and then we're going to add the um, ketchup mixture on top and cook it for two more minutes. Okay, and so while the meatloaf is cooking uh, in the microwave, I'm going to make our ketchup mixture that's gonna go on top. So it calls for three tablespoons of ketchup. I just kind of-ish it, okay? And then um, a teaspoon of brown sugar. 
and a teaspoon of honey mustard. I don't have any honey mustard, so I'm using our sweet and spicy mustard, which will be just fine. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna mix that up. And when the um, meatloaf is done with the four minutes, we're gonna put that on top. Our four minutes is done. The meatloaf is not done yet, but it's at the point where we're gonna add the um, ketchup topping. I just wanna show you right there. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. This is really cool. Like I can just kind of just twist the pan here or the um, silicone mold and um, drain out some extra grease. Perfect. Alrighty. And now we're going to just mix up the, um, the ketchup and the brown sugar and the honey mustard. Um, I use the sweet and spicy mustard tonight. And then it's simple as this. You're just going to, I'm using my basting brush and I'm just going to paint this on top. lid back on two more minutes okay you guys so we have to make good use of our time so while the meatloaf is cooking I have cut up my broccoli and I've got my little square steamer that I'm gonna cook my broccoli in so let me just dump this in here and then I'm gonna show you a little trick this is super cool with our steamers I take the butter and I put it on the lid and then as it's cooking in the microwave it melts down on top of the veggies yeah super super yummy oh you know what hold on I want to put some seasoning on my butter red garlic I love the red garlic and so I'm just going to put a little bit of this. Actually, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on my broccoli. And then as the butter um, melts, it's just gonna melt down on top of it. It'll be super yummy. Okay, got about a half a minute left. Okay, meatloaf is done. Just show you here really quick. And I'm going to leave it sit in the steamer with the lid on for um, about the two and a half minutes while I'm gonna cook the broccoli. That just helps it to just finish up its cooking. Um, and then they'll both be ready together at the same time. All right, you guys, it is done. Here is the broccoli. Yum, doesn't that look delicious? So bright green. It's all because when you steam it, it like steals in all the nutrients and the moisture and all of that. Like you don't have to add water or anything. You stick it in there and Microwave it, two and a half minutes, you guys. Okay, let me serve this up on my plate. Never, ever, ever use a sharp knife or object in the silicone. You will puncture it and ruin it. So we have a silicone knife. It's an Epicure silicone knife to use in our silicone that is safe. meatloaf and some broccoli gosh it looks so good there we go epicure meatloaf you guys steamed broccoli in less than 10 minutes four minutes for your meatloaf put on your ketchup two more minutes and then two and a half minutes for your broccoli couple minutes for your prep, you know, before and, and, and you're going to prep your broccoli and stuff while that's cooking. Nice. Okay. You guys, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, like my video, and I am going to link all the products in the description. Have an amazing night.